Abdullah, Angel, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, but above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now, touch gloves, and the bell rings come out in box. Good luck. I got a heads up on Abdullah Mason from Shakur Stevenson, who told me, Ooh. Christina, and that's a good left hand right there, and a good uppercut from Mason. You got to watch out for this kid. Even though four fights to four fights, he has more experience in the ring, gone a full eight rounds in his last fight, but Abdullah Mason lands a sneaky right hand there. And he got a chin on him, too. Nice. Nice Look at dig. It. With that right hand and finished with that counter left up top. But we're at a different angle than the referee is. All that offense from Mason right now. Oh, and oh, that one puts goodness. down Barrera. My goodness. But just under a minute here in round three, can Abdullah Mason finish the show? Big body shot there with the right hand, too. Back up top with the left. Mm. That one puts him down again for the second time here in round three. Angel Barrera continue, and I think that they should give him another chance. He said he's okay, he wants to go. We'll see what we see here. You know, Barrera, you're a fighter, Tim. You know he's going to want to fight this out. And look, he, he ain't one around. He ain't one around. The referee better save his life. And, and there it is. He stepped in, stopped the fight, had seen enough. Everything was all established off that solid jab right there, but beautiful, nice little swivel jab right there, straight left hand right down the middle. You know, like I told you in the beginning, Barrero was coming out with his wide shots, a straight shot, a beat a wide shot nine times out of ten, depending on what angle you're on now. I just think this was unnecessary. I, I think that they should have stopped the fight a round before. You know, but the, the ref and the doc decided to give him a chance. You know, Abdullah was going to take him out, no doubt about it. He felt that he was weakening, and just like the shark, when he smells blood in the water, it's time. <laughs>